Well, hi, this is Chase Swift, and in this video, you are probably going to search for how do I restore my MacBook Air to factory settings without disk. So let me show you that. The first thing is to make an, a backup. Okay, you want to make sure you have all your important files and documents and photos, everything. So then after you do the backup, then you can proceed, and I'll cover that. But basically, you press three keys, the Command, Option, and R keys, while your computer is restarting. But first, uh, we want to pack up. Now, secondly, the real quick uh, step is to open Disk Utility, select the Macintosh HD in the sidebar, and then erase the drive. And that'll set everything back to the factory settings. And then you just want to install the OS... X, which is the operating system, that's what OS means, and OS X is operating system 10, although they're now changing them to like OS X El Capitan, or in the, even in the future it'll be called like Mac OS, and then a name like Sierra. That's the operating system, that's all your programs, and that's what you need to reinstall. So let's cover back up a little closer just so you have that. Um, you want to make a backup and use an external hard drive. And then use Time Machine because it's free on your Mac. It's already included. It will back up everything. And to find Time Machine in your system preferences, you can see the little blue uh, uh, around the white icon of the Apple. And that'll be in the top left of your computer. The second item down there is System Preferences. And when you open that, you'll see all the settings you can make. And you'll see Time Machine in the fourth row there, and I've circled it in red. So obviously uh, you can find that. Then just uh, once Time Machine is running, turn it on, and that's the left side where it's on. And then you're going to choose, you're going to select the external hard drive. And then it'll just do it automatically, okay? It'll uh, do hourly backups, uh, even once you have everything set up. But you need a good, solid backup of your entire hard drive before you erase it, okay? Now, once you have a good backup on Time Machine and everything is good, then press the Command, Option, and R keys, and I've circled them in red, when your computer is restarting. So just hit Restart or Start It Up, whatever, and just immediately hit those three uh, keys. You'll get your uh, computer, it'll look like this, it'll be starting up, and then you'll just wait a moment, and you'll come up with these options right after restarting, okay? And the one you want to choose is, choose Disk Utility. Just click on that, it'll open up. And then once you're inside Disk Utility, you want to choose the Macintosh HD in the sidebar bar on the left, and then choose Erase in the center, and I've circled that. And that will erase the hard drive and everything on it, so you can get it back to factory specifications, factory settings. And again, you want to choose Macintosh HD, and the best format is OS X Extended, which is also called Journaled. Then you just click the Erase button. And then you install the OS X which is your Mac OS, the operating system. It's going to be called Mac OS in the future. From there, you're going to have a completely uh, new computer with the, the factory setting software. You don't need a, a disk or anything else. It's already going to be on there. Um, and so that's really all you need to do. So follow these steps, and you'll be set up exactly what you need to do. Thanks again for watching. If this helped, give me a like and a positive comment if you have one. And if you want to be uh, uh, a subscriber, you'll get notice every time I do a new video. And I do a lot of great videos on Macs. I love them. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.